giving me an idea. <laughs> you know, a long time ago, here, <laughs> what's it been, three months? <laughs> long time ago, I decided um, early on, I thought casting a bell, man, this was like the, the pinnacle, the pinnacle of casting. Uh, I still think it is, so I didn't do it. And I'm probably not ready to do it now, but I reminded, I rang that thing and mm, thinking about it. Anyway, so <laughs> I almost started this thing off with a little quote from um, uh, the movie Tombstone. There's a scene in there where they're just about to go into the OK Corral thing and six cowboys come riding into town. The cowboys are the bad guys. And the herbs are standing there talking and Virgil says, man, uh, there's six of them. And he's like, this is like, man, this is like a bad dream. Well, <laughs> that's the way this casting was for me. It was like a bad dream almost. I didn't have six, but I had four. So what I want to show you um, in this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to go straight to the pores. I'm not going to show you how I made the molds. Um, but I am going to get into it at the end of the video. I'm going to show you uh, what went wrong with all with the previous, the first three pours. Um, what I learned, and you can see how I how I ended up um, doing the mold and doing the gating and the venting. A couple of things I wanted to try in this in this um, casting that that I hadn't done before. First one was uh, I wanted to cast a really well. I didn't really want to cast a thin part, but I ended up casting a thin part. So that's one thing. Uh, the other thing I did, which uh, I've been wanting to try to do, is I cast multiple parts. I made two patterns. And I and I gated them together, and I and I because I wanted to try to be able to make more than one at a time. I mean, it takes a long time when you're ramming up sand for just one single thing. I mean, so I was trying to hope to get to where I could do multiple pieces at a time. So I did my first multiple, and then uh, I thought, well, while I'm doing all this other, <laughs> everything else is changing, I might as well try a blind feeder. So um, this is the first time I've ever done a blind feeder. We'll see how that worked out for me. So without uh, further ado, I'm going to show you the third pour. This is the third pour, gratuitous pour. Uh, you know, it's when, when movies have no plot, they do gratuitous sex scenes. Well, here you go. You got gratuitous, <laughs> you got gratuitous pour. After that, I'm going to jump into the fourth pour, and then we'll go into what I'm going to call the anatomy of a pour, which is uh, sort of me just breaking down what I saw. So hang around, watch the whole thing. You might learn something if you... Maybe. I hope I learned something. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, this is it for me. Everything else has been pre-recorded, so I, I can't even say goodbye to you. I'm going to say that later. We're still hot, but I'm gonna. St I gotta. I gotta look. I gotta know. Let's just see what happens. Pick this thing up. <laughs> oh, worst one yet. <laughs> That'll hopefully it doesn't make it in. Doesn't look like it's going to. Well, how'd we do? Not seeing anything coming up through those vents. Come on. Alrighty, we're clear. We are cooled off. At least it's uh, solid. I'm sure it'll burn me if I still grab hold of it. Let's see what we got now. Looks like it went everywhere there. Oh, look at that. Finally, it only took four. It only took four times to do this. But I think I got it.
finally. All right, let me get them cleaned up. I'm even separate one of them off of here just to show you how it works. I must be getting gas. <laughs> I must be having gas. You can't, can you see that right there? All that divots down inside there? Can you see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, you can. Kind of weird that every time I get that bubble right there, I think, it, I think it's trapped gas, which I think I'm okay with because if it adds pressure and pushes stuff out, I'm okay with that. I did come up my uh, vents, which is great. Good to see. Um, as I said, it didn't come up very high, but it came up. That's okay. That's all it had to do is provide a way for gas to get out of here and get that metal into the corners. So, uh, like I said, let me get this cleaned off and uh, we'll take a look at her. I think I'm going <laughs> to... Let's have a segment. Let's call it a new segment here. Um, I just might took my glasses off, so now hopefully I don't need to look at anything. All right, I'm going to just go through real quick the anatomy of a the anatomy of a pour. Let's call it that. Um, this is the first one I did. Short flask. Um, I uh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't vent. I only ran a, a vent off to the side. I didn't come up and out. I didn't have. I didn't give a place a, a place for the gas to escape. Interesting to note that I didn't get the divot in here. I didn't get that pressure build up in here. I think that's what that is. Um, but, of course, I didn't make it all the way to the corners, so that was the first pour. The second pour I did was this one. I used a taller flask. Um, I vented it, only one's still here, but I vented it up and out uh, this time. I made it all the way to the corners. Good job. I, got the, I made a little bit bigger um, blind feeder. I got that funny little, I'm going to call it a gas bubble. Um, in the top there, but my mold was just awful. I mean, things had fallen apart on me, and uh, I went ahead and cast it anyway. So this, that's where this one is. Uh, let's see. Oh, <laughs> this is the one I did last night. <laughs> Three. <laughs> God. Failure on this part. You see where I gated in? I gated into this really thin part of the, the, the part here. Uh, that's where I, the gate comes in. And I think that's my problem. I think that the gate... I just didn't get enough material in here, and it just it got it got cold and it froze up, and <laughs> that's what I ended up with. So, comparing that, you see where I, you can see where I gated into, right? I mean, this one that this one that worked, I gated into the thick part. This one that didn't work, I gated into the thin part. That's the difference, uh, and I have a feeling that that was the huge difference here. So. Um, as always, I have my base and I have my ridge, which is down low. Um, nice tapered sprue. I'm not sure what happened down there, like sand or something collapsed on me, but nice tapered sprue. We're going to get into what a tapered sprue really is. It's not a choke. I was told that in a, not, in a gentle way. <laughs> a gentle way, Martin. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're going to get into what this tapered sprue is about as soon as I figure it out. We're going to get into that. Uh, what else we got going here? I had a reasonably good size um, blind feeder here. I mean, can, given the size of the part, I mean, it was pretty beefy. Uh, much bigger than any of the pieces of the parts or any of the channels of the part. Uh, decent size gates coming in. I think those are pretty good size. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? I got the vents. Coming off the side, you can see how I cut those in here. Uh, just came right off the side, vented it up so that the gas would have a place to escape. This metal didn't make it all the way to the top of the flask, but it wasn't it wasn't intended to, right? It was intended to provide a way for the gas to go out and get out of the out of the way so I can get into this corner. I told you at the very, 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 very beginning, probably four weeks ago, <laughs> when I started casting this thing, I tell you what these things are. So let me get one cleaned up, and I'll show you what it is and how it works. <laughs> I never thought I would make it here. I never thought I'd make it to the end. <laughs> oh, my. Don't give up. That's the world of this story. There it is. Cleaned up. Ready to go. I told you I'd show you what it's for. This is a, uh, and a lot of you probably already figured it out, right? It's a center finder. You take a round object, put it up against the, uh, the two uh, the two ridges there the two corners you can draw draw a line there turn it to a different spot on the uh, thing 
and where those two lines cross is the center of my circle. So if you need to find the center of a hole or something round, they're kind of cool little tools. This is a small one, so this would be like the max size you could do with something like this. Um, but there, there it is. Four attempts. Four attempts <laughs> to get this right. As I said, don't quit. It's there's it's it can be done. And you know what I found out? You know what I figured out on this thing? I used to kind of, even if I didn't say it to myself or say it to anybody else, I just kind of felt like, you know, you, 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 do, you put your mold together and you pour it in. And it's kind of like, it's like at the year, the, the fate of the mold, as it were. To, is it going to work? Not going to work? Is it? I, the reality is you can control how this dumb thing works. Um, I, I figured that out now. The question is, are, am I smart enough to figure out how to make it work? Another question, right? But... Uh, it can be done, and I think, I mean, the fact that I cast that, that is three, I can't even show it to you there, 3.5 millimeters thick for a reasonable distance, and it cast it. So it can be done, thin stuff can be done, just keep at it, work at it, figure it out, improve your technique, stuff like that. Now, I'm going to link something at the end here. Where am I going to link to? I'm going to link over there. I had to move to one side so I could have room to point. I watched a video maybe a week ago. Tabho Mott. Something like that. He doesn't even know how to say the name. And he's got a real name, too. <laughs> I'm going to link his video because he made some stuff. He cast some stuff that he's actually going to use. He cast a part. Or actually four or eight. I can't remember how many he made. But a lot. That's what it's all about, you know? Making stuff for your, to be able to use, to make other stuff. Oh, man, I was so impressed. Go watch that video. I'm going to put it right there. There it is, right there. Hey, if you want to subscribe to mine, I'll put it right down here, right about there. And um, you can do that. As always, you guys have a great day.